going on guys get an update uh it's been quite a while too long not much has really changed to be honest uh there's one real big thing it's pretty much what i've been saving for forever pretty much as uh, if you guys saw the video i posted a little bit ago uh, it was me data logging and stuff with the honda s300 you can't see it because it's where it should be but I got the S300 installed into my ECU. As you can see, here's the SC300. Inside it's got the stuff. Here's the company that I do the actual uh, chipping. And it comes with just this, uh, like how to install the software stuff. And it comes with cables for uh, digital and analog. Uh, inputs and outputs, and then I've got uh, some stickers here. This is just one of them. I have the uh, other one on my laptop, and other than that, not really much has happened. I've lifted lifted the car, lowered it, um, just stuff like that, and pretty much just maintenance stuff. So um, I'm not sure if you guys knew this or not but I went and had new tires put on these wheels it's been so long since I've updated you guys um, but I've got new wheel, new tires on those wheels and not much has really gone on here uh, I am going to be pulling it again in the springtime and repainting it I might sandblast everything uh, the motor and the transmission, I'm not sandblasting like the engine bay, but the intake manifold, all that stuff, sandblast it and actually paint it so that it turns out really nice. It really like stained and stuff. You can see there down in here, it's all like stained. And I'm just really not happy with the wire tuck job. If you look at it like this, it looks pretty good. Um, but coming around here, Underneath the distributor is pretty messed up. I did test a distributor with another one, so that's why this one's like a different color. Uh, the wires aren't covered with the wire loom. And rather than using this stuff, I think I'm going to use something else because I don't like the way it fits up on the injectors. Uh, so I'll probably change that out with something. And everything else pretty much is going to be the same. I gotta do some exhaust work. Uh, the unequal length headers are still holding up just fine, but I do wanna change it because they are extremely low to the ground. Um, so I gotta do some customization to it. I'll probably leave this one on the shelf. I would sell it because many, many, many of you want this header, but the where it connects to like the cat back isn't in the same position as a stock exhaust. So you'd actually have to modify this. Other than that, like if that's something you guys would be interested in, then we can probably work something out if you'd want this header. But know that it hangs low. So if you have a lowered car, this header isn't ideal. And the uh, where it connects to the cat back would have to be changed. Uh, radiator is more than good that's something I wanted to touch base on the when you, I drive this thing in any type of like cool or even cold weather my uh, car cools down way too fast it's kind of a pain because you don't have heat when you're driving it sometimes I mean you do to some extent it's just not really really good but uh, still I've been contemplating on a couple things I want to get rid of the air, like the heater unit, and move that into the glove box and do an iPad dash there, or do a uh, just like a gauge cluster there. So I'll put all my gauges there, like fuel pressure, uh, air to fuel ratio, um, voltage, all that stuff, like a bunch of stuff that's you know essential. Uh, I do have the. Uh, access to all the sensors and stuff via the S manager on the Honda um, app for the computer but I'd have to carry my 
computer with me every time I go somewhere, which is kind of a pain. So it'd be nice to have gauges up on the dash just to view everything. Um, something else that's pretty sweet. I got a wicked deal on this uh, carbon fiber spoiler. I haven't shown you guys it, I don't think. But it's literally flawless. There's just marks from manufacturing right here in the corner. It just, uh, it doesn't look finished. And it's like that on the other side, but as you guys know, I had the plastic version of this one, and uh, it actually had a divot in it right here where it sank down in the middle and came back up. This one completely got rid of that. There's no issues with that at all. So that's super nice. Uh, it's a guy around here, he had it on his Civic, and he was just parting out to get money you know, out of it. And he messaged me, well, I messaged him and I said, hey, look, I've got the plastic version of that one. He was looking for a stock one. He was like, if you give me the plastic one and 60 bucks, you can have it. And I was like, what about 40? He's like, yeah, we're friends on Facebook. I know you, I love your car. Come get it for 40. So I said, thanks. And I literally got up the next day and got it. Um, super nice. I love that. I'm super happy with it. Uh, interior is holding up good. Only real issue that I'm having is with the carpet. And you can see right there that it's uh, not fitted down properly. I've got to just go around and do that. Also, I gotta I have electrical tape here just so that it doesn't look red, but I gotta paint this black or either get all new molding and just make it wrap all the way down to that. The uh, factory EG pieces, uh, this actually is covered by the rear, uh, like the inside, you'd call it like a door panel, I guess. But um, yeah, it's still all gutted back there. I had a wooden floor. I took that out, it was starting to rattle. In the springtime, I'll probably do the interior more in detail. I'll probably rip everything out of it, uh, sound detonate, it, and do it in body liner, like bed liner, I mean. That way, uh, it's just clean, like it looks good, and it'll be quiet in there, actually, because this thing on the road is ridiculously loud when driving. Not the exhaust, but just like, dirt getting like spat up in the rear like wheel wells it's a real pain but i've been thinking about getting other wheels I'm not really sure i kind of like these ones but i do have to have these fenders rolled at some point i have to run a pretty good amount of camber to make up for it but everything's so good with the car Sorry that I've been super inactive. I've just been busy doing life things, but I'll start posting more, hopefully. Uh, I want you guys to leave comments below of what you want for videos. Uh, not much will really be on this, but I do hope to find something I can drive this winter. I'll make videos of that. And me and friends snow drifting. I got a buddy that has an all wheel drive Subaru, so I'm sure there'll be videos on that. Uh, in the daytime, I'll probably make you guys another video here, probably within the week, doing some like launch control and stuff, because I know that you guys have been really wanting to hear that with these unequal length headers, so keep on the lookout for that, and as always, like and subscribe. If you know anybody else that likes Hondas, or even like maybe Subarus or something, just a car enthusiast that can appreciate it give the video a share that would be super super helpful and i'm sure they'll like the uh video there of the exhaust and stuff that i have up that video has like over 5,000 views now which is pretty crazy so i just want to thank everybody that shares the videos likes them comments and stuff i don't get to everybody but i try my best and uh thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you next time